that um, is incredible. Sometimes we forget the amount of sacrifice they've gone through. And maybe even at times there's a tug in our heart or a little lump in our throat when we realize, golly, when was the last time I sent a thank you card or an email? And that they have worked so hard and they've sacrificed so hard and they tried to be educated and equipped and pass it on to you all. So join me in a prayer and a blessing for them. So if you don't mind, stretch out a hand and let's bless them and pray for them. So please, men and women, receive this, pastors. Lord, thank you so much for these incredible men and women who have served your church, your bride, in such a significant way. Lord, for many of them, we actually really repent that maybe we haven't uh, given them enough in terms of financial support. And maybe we have been a bit more on the stingy side, and now there's a chance to affirm that not only our verbal thanks and our prayers, but to think about how can we help them in a concrete way, because they're normally not paid very much, and that hours are long, and oftentimes they, 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 they never have a three-day weekend because they're working on a Sunday. And oftentimes they're working on a Christmas Eve or a Thanksgiving day. And they've been, they've been for us and with us late at night, maybe for counseling or holding our hand due to an illness or the death of a loved one, or helping us get through a difficult marriage or a breakup. As a, as a teenager or some question of self-doubt or even at times self-harming. So Lord, we bless them in your name. We bless them and ask that your Holy Spirit might come upon them in a new and fresh way. And not only through the conference, but supernaturally may they be edified and refreshed and filled up. And Lord, we think especially of the spouses men and women who have supported our pastors in their lives and their homes. Lord, it's not always easy to be the spouse of a pastor. Sometimes we can feel our own identity is, is being ignored as all focus is on the pastor. And yet behind the scenes, Lord, they have been such great support of their husbands or wives as pastors. And now we pray an immense blessing of support for them. May they know how much they are loved by their congregation. May they know how much they are loved by you. And so we pray for all of them that they right now feel your heavenly arms around them. May they know how much you, Father God, loves them. And may, may they hear this really clearly, that you love them not because of what they do. You love them because they're your son and daughter. There's really nothing they can do to earn your love or make you love them more. You love them to the fullest. And you've already displayed that in the death of the cross. So Lord, just supernaturally, like a gentle waterfall, pour into the Holy Spirit the top of their heads, to the bottom of their feet, and refresh them, and cleanse them, and strengthen them, and may they know they're not alone. And at times when things may seem dark or lonely, may they remember this day when the body of Christ, when young people, teenagers, and maybe younger and adults, stretched out their hand by the hundreds, if not by the thousands, to say thank you. Well done, good and faithful servants. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. All right, God bless you all. We love you. And now to your seats.